Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zach, you guys can call me Hazardous, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video, and welcome back to my channel. So guys, today on PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 4 got a buff uh, on some of the weapons, and they just got an overall, just a general update for some DLC map fixes and weapon updates and much, much more. So I want to talk about that in this video. Now, in terms of the general gameplay, there's an issue fixed where the hit markers moved off center when a player was taking damage. That's been fixed. That really wouldn't affect the game too much. It's just your hit markers are off center. I don't know why that would be such a big deal, but they fixed it, so that's good. I'm glad they're, you know, keeping up with the game and everything. And mind you guys, this is exclusively for PlayStation 4. You guys can refer back to my other video that I uploaded last week during the week that shows the patches and patch notes for Xbox One specifically on what happened. I checked out the article and the patch notes are the same, but PlayStation 4 had another update and patch today, so I'm going to talk about that in this video like I have been. So, in terms of the specialist, the Outrider Sparrow got an increased ability to hit enemies, and the Rejack from the Nomad Specialist class got an increased remaining power when the player terminates. So if the player doesn't Rejack, then the, I guess, specialist meter wouldn't go back as far as it would. Maybe you'll only have like a quarter of the way there or something like that. I forget exactly how much XP you have towards your specialist specifically your rejack specialist if you don't use the rejack but we will have to see in game the tempest from the profit specialist class also got an increased ability to hit the enemies now moving on to the creator class this is the interesting stuff and then after this i'll move on to the score streaks the assault rifles specifically the icr the hvk the shiva all got increased long distance damage range so they are more effective at longer range and the kn44 got an increased da distance damage range at medium distance the KN-44 is definitely better at medium range now, which probably is going to make it the most overpowered weapon in the game, especially for assault rifles, just because with rapid fire, the weapon is super, super OP in my opinion. Not OP in terms of like remove it from the game, but it is de you definitely have an advantage over players. So that's good. I'm glad that they actually buffed that up because now this, uh, this weapon will be even nastier at medium range. And moving on to the submachine guns, the Vesper got a reduced recoil stability along with reduced hip fire accuracy. You guys know that you can check out videos from other major YouTubers on exactly how the Vesper got patched. That hasn't been up on the Xbox One yet, so I'm not able to bring you guys gameplay, but the Vesper has been nerfed significantly. You guys can also refer back to my video that I uploaded on the channel a couple days ago about how the Vesper did or will be getting nerfed, and already has. In that video, I was talking about how it will get nerfed over the weekend, so if you want to know what's going on with that, you can also refer back to that video, which I recommend you do. And the Weevil also got an increased medium distance damage range in hardcore mode, so at medium range in hardcore, the Weevil will technically be even better than it was, especially in terms of damage at the medium distance range. And now the Locust Sniper Rifle got an increased weapon switch speed, so maybe now you don't need to use fast hands on the Locust to switch weapons really fast. We will have to see. Now, the only score streak that was buffed in Black Ops 3, especially on the PS4, was the Power Core. The cost decreased to 1,250 uh, score points, so that's really not that bad, and the duration has been increased to 60 seconds. And there was an also an issue fixed on the Power Core where it would occasionally fail to destroy an enemy counter UAV. Now that's been fixed, so the Power Core definitely has been buffed. The Assault Rifles, especially the ICR, the HPK, and the Shiva, and the KN44 all have been buffed, so that's excellent to hear. I'm hoping this patch comes to Xbox One. We will have to see, though. Still want a PlayStation 4, I don't know when I'm going to get it, but this is the patch for the PlayStation 4 for any of you guys who play on PlayStation 4. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, let's see if we can hit 10 likes, and I want to thank you for watching, and I will catch you guys later on today. Adios amigos.